Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tiffany. Today I will be directly comparing the Cybex Gazelle S to the Upper Baby Vista V2. I will be using them as doubles. Um, that's with the two seats on them. And I will also show you guys the optional ride on board um, for both of them. Um, so those of you who know me know that I had the Upper Baby Vista V2 with my first child and I absolutely loved it as a single. Um, when I went to have my second child, I you know quickly ordered the rumble seat, was so excited and then was kind of bummed because the rumble seat only had a 35 pound weight limit, whereas the main seat has a 50 pound weight limit. And my son was about to be 35 pounds. Um, I was kind of freaking out, but I went ahead and purchased the rumble seat anyways. Um, and then I put it on to test it one day um, when my cousin came over and she had her son with her. And I absolutely hated it. I felt like the seats were eating each other and one kid's feet were on top of the rumble seat. And I also hated the idea of having to put the baby um, in her bassinet or in her car seat on the lower adapters. Um, I just felt like, you know, not being able to see the baby was like not really an option for me. Um, so of course I did all my research <laughs> and compared a million strollers and I landed on the Cybex Gazelle S. Um, the reason that I originally liked the Cybex Gazelle S was because it had 50 pound weight limits for both seats and it had um, the footrest could go like up and down for both of them. Whereas the rumble seat on the Upper Baby Vista is actually like in a fixed position and my son loves having his feet up. So that was also a consideration. Um, when I first got the Cybex Gazelle S, I fell in love. The seats were far enough apart. Um, that I didn't feel like the kids were on top of each other. I could put the baby on the top seat. Um, everything was going great. Um, I ended up selling my Upper Baby Vista V2. Um, and then as time went on, I kind of had a little bit of buyer's remorse in that I really missed the snack trays on the Upper Baby. I know that sounds so stupid, but my son was like always eating snacks in his stroller, obviously, as most kids do. Um, and I tried to find other options. I really liked this little like um, munchkin option where it would like kind of snap on. But then I found that I like kept forgetting it at home. Um, and I tried like putting it, you know, by my front door so I'd always remember. But it just, I don't know, wasn't really working out for us. Um, I also ended up getting the ride on board for the Cybex. Um, and I do have a video on that if you guys want to check that out. And there was something that I didn't like about it, which is that it doesn't really quite fold upwards. And so you can't really keep it on the stroller when it's not in use. It has to be kind of like down. I didn't really love that. Whereas like up a baby, you could put that ride on board up, but you know, such is life. Um, anyway, so I borrowed my friends up a baby Vista just to like see if I felt like I was missing out on something. Um, and so that's how I'm able to do this comparison video today. I actually went ahead and I bought the snack tray for the Cybex Gazelle S. I was super hesitant to buy it because it just didn't, it seemed like kind of clunky to me in the pictures. Um, but I did go ahead and order it. Let me tell you that at the end of this video, I will tell you what my clear winner is. Um, and it may not be what you expect. Let's see. All right, so let's dive in. All right, guys, so this is the Cybex Gazelle S. Um, I put the seats in the same position for the Upper Baby and the Cybex. And as you can see, there's really not a huge difference when the seats are this way. Um, one thing I will note is it, with the Cybex, the kid is lower. Um, this is with the handlebar all the way down. This is with the handlebar all the way up. I'm gonna put it down for now. The child's head will probably be like, that's to like here on me, and I'm 5'1 for reference. Um, with the Uppa Baby Vista, I feel like their head is like way higher up with the adapter. So I'm gonna say like, maybe like, maybe like a six inch difference, or not even, maybe like a four to six inch difference. Um, so they are closer. This is with the handlebar raised. This is with the handlebar down. So in this position, there's not a huge difference. 
Um, this though can go up right here so that the child can rest their feet, whereas the rumble seat does not allow that. And again, just so you know, this seat is the rumble seat, has to remain on the bottom and has a 35 pound weight limit. Whereas this seat has a 50 pound weight limit, just like that top seat. This top seat of the Ubba baby has a 50 pound weight limit as well. Um, so your lighter child will always have to go on the bottom. That's a little bit of a pain in the butt for me. You know, I have to have like a two year old up here and a baby on the bottom. Eh, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys um, what the seats look like, both facing forward. As you can see, that was pretty smooth, flipping that around. Um, this one is also pretty smooth. I will say that the upper baby is like slightly easier because you can directly see where the adapter is, <clears throat> whereas here you're kind of slipping it into this groove adapter right there. So now with both of them facing forward, I will say that from <clears throat> just looking at them, there's not a huge difference. But once your kid sits in them, this front seat doesn't really, really have any wiggle room. So when I go to put my hand in here, I'm gonna say that it goes, even if I push hard, I'm gonna say that it's gonna go from my middle finger um, from tip to about my knuckle is the space there. When I come over here, this seat does have a little bit of back and forth room. So that allows a little more flexibility and I'm almost uh, able to flatten my whole palm in here. Um, I'll say it's from the tip of my middle finger to about here is the space. So the difference is like that compared to that. Um, which does make a huge difference, right? When you're trying, when you have like a kid in here and their knees are bent right there. Um, again, you know, this foot rest can go up and down and this one can't. Um, so usually when I put my, if I put my son in this one, his feet, he tends to put them up here and rest them here. Whereas if I put him in this one, he does tend to keep his feet down here. So that's kind of nice. You can also pull the footrest a little bit forward and it'll lock. It does like kind of, I feel like you can feel it if the kid's sitting in here. It might bother their back a little bit, but it is an option so that they're not, you know, so that their feet can rest over here. All right, and then uh, now I'm going to show you both seats facing that way. Both of these require that you press buttons on both sides um, in order to take off the seats. And the upper baby, just so you guys know, has separate adapters. So you do have to purchase these upper adapters and the lower adapters, and they can stay on the stroller when you fold them, but you do have to purchase them separately. Whereas the Cybex Gazelle S has the adapter built in, so it just swivels out, which I just keep them always in the out position just to make my life easier. All right. And here is both of them facing forward. Um, when it comes to how much room they're taking up in the storage compartment, I do think that there is much less room in this one <clears throat> versus in the other baby. So I tend not to put my child facing inwards, especially on the Cybex Gazelle. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the ride-on boards for both of them. So for the Uppa baby, as you can see, the ride-on board can flip upwards. Let's bring it out here so you guys can see, but it can, it can, can stay up. 
and then you press this button on the back of it and that brings it down. Move this out so you can see that. I feel like when you move it, it does seem a little sturdier than the um, side of Gazelle S board, but it is easier to kick in my opinion. And this is with the bar up. Just gonna show you that again. I don't kick it often, but I'm just saying it is easier to kick. I like that you can store this board up. And that is one of my complaints with the Cybex Gazelle. So for the Cybex Gazelle S, you cannot store this board in the upwards position. It just stays on there. <clears throat> As you can see, you can't store it. Um, and then when you wanna take it off, you kind of have to pull down on these little latches and you take it off. Um, I do have a separate video on that. The other kind of annoying part, which I didn't mention in my other video, is that you can't really store the board in this underneath compartment because when you go to fold it, the wheel will kind of get in the way, I feel like, um, or at least a couple times that I've done it, maybe I just put it in like a weird angle, but you do kind of have to take it out of the storage compartment um, when you go to fold the stroller. So that's that. I'm gonna keep this off because I am gonna show you how to how these strollers fold. So this is the Cybex Gazelle S, as you guys know. I have this little baggie on it just so you guys don't think it looks weird. So you guys know. Alright. Um, so the reason why I love this stroller so much is because of this. So you just press that button and this stroller can fold with both seats attached. I can easily fit this in my trunk. I have the Lexus RX 350 and I have not had a problem. I can actually just leave this seat like this, but there is the option of folding it over as well. But usually I can just Put it in my trunk just like that. Now, with the Up a Baby Vista, one of the main reasons why this is not my go to stroller is because you cannot fold this stroller as a double. Not only can you not fold this stroller as a double, but you cannot fold the stroller with this seat facing you. So this seat has to be facing out and that seat has to be taken off in order to fold this stroller, which is a huge pain in the butt because I really like this configuration and it is usually the configuration in which I keep my kids in. So I have to pull this off. Then I have to turn this seat around. all just to be able to fold this stroller. Not a huge fan. I also have recently noticed that this piggyback gets in the way of it even closing kind of all the way. There, now it's closed. Um, but it does make it a little bulkier, as you can see. Um, so let me show you them. Side by side, one has two seats attached and the other one only has one. This one you can fold with the seat facing in either direction, facing you, facing out. This seat could be facing you or facing out and it will still fold. <clears throat> this one, again, huge pain in the butt. When you're in a parking lot, you have to take this off and you have to put it down somewhere. But yeah, there you have it. And now I'll go through the snack trays for both of them. I was really hesitant to order the Cybex snack tray, but we'll see. 
All right, now this is the snack tray of the Ubba Baby Vist. As you can see, it's really nice and deep. Um, you can put like a little fruit there or sometimes I'll put puffs. Um, and then the this is really nice too because I feel like a bunch of different kinds of cups can fit there and I've never had an issue with a cup not being able to fit. And it does fit pretty securely because of these little rubber um, things. And then another great part of it is that this just snaps off. And you can take this to be washed super easily and then bring it back and pop it right back on. And if you guys didn't know, this also swivels just like the bars do on the Abba Baby. Okay guys, seriously, this snack tray is beautiful. It looked super shallow in the pictures. That's why I was super hesitant to buy it. But oh my God, it's actually like as deep as the Upper Baby one. This is a pretty large cup holder. It looks like it's gonna fit any cup. Um, and it has this little one too, which is kind of great. Um, also love that you can remove each of these pieces separately. So if this just needs to be washed, you can just take this off instead of taking the whole snack tray out. Mind blown. Now, the fact that you can sit your kid in here, just like if this were a regular bar, is also pretty much the greatest thing in this whole entire world because I thought only the Elbow Baby snack tray did that. And so, Cybex, you did good. Here's a closer up of both of them collapsed. I think width-wise, they're pretty similar. Um, but as you can see, you have that extra rumble seat, which is a little bit of a pain. And in my last video, I also had a stroller caddy on my Cybex Gazelle S, um, which I was talking about in relation to the ride on board. I took that off. And I ended up getting this off of Amazon and I love it. And then I got a separate cup holder and a phone holder, like a MagSafe one um, for the stroller. And I have not looked back. <laughs> All right, guys. So now that I've shown you both of the strollers, both of their snack trays, their ride on boards and how they close, I want to let you guys know which one for me is the winner. And that would be, drum roll please, the Cybex Gazelle S. Hands down, I'm still super obsessed with it. I would not go back to the Up Baby Vista if someone paid me. Um, I just love being able to fold it, honestly, and not have to worry about like, where am I gonna put this seat on the floor and like try and get the rest of it into the car and then get the seat into the car. like. No, thank you. Um, I also really, really love that both seats have the 50 pound weight limit. Um, I will let you guys know that this actually was a lifesaver recently. Um, my son woke up with acute torticollis, which didn't know that was actually a thing, um, but he was in severe neck pain. I ended up having to take him and lug the baby also to the pediatrician and having the seat where I can put out the footrest was actually a lifesaver. Like he was able to kind of curl up in the seat, whereas I don't see how that would have been possible if he were sitting in the rumble seat of the Upper Baby Vista. Like it just wouldn't have, it wouldn't have worked. Um, so I am so happy that I went ahead and got the snack trays for the Cybex Gazelle S. If you do, please make sure that you get the one that says gold and not platinum. The Cybex Platinum um, snack tray will not fit. They look exactly the same, but just make sure you get the one that says gold. Um, honestly, you will not regret it if you get the Cybex Gazelle S. Um, if you guys saw in my last video, there is a bit of a learning curve with folding down the stroller, but once you get it, it's super easy. Even my husband, he, he actually had a, a bit of trouble at the beginning. Oh, it's super easy now. Um, 
so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video um i really enjoy making these if you guys want videos on anything else in particular please let me know in the comments section if you guys have any extra questions definitely reach out um, i'm happy to answer the questions but yeah stay tuned for my next videos and see what i have coming up um if you like this video please hit the like button down below hit subscribe and thank you for watching